Today, we are diving into one of the most fascinating and universal topic in psychology, the attraction. Why are we uh, drawn to some people more than others or what makes someone irresistible to us? Let's explore that over a coffee. Hi, my name is Aisha and I am a psychology student and here we break down the science of the mind in ways that are easy to understand one cup of coffee at a time. So, what is attraction? Attraction is a mix of psychology, biology and the social dynamics. At its core, it's about being drawn to someone we find rewarding. Whether that's direct reward like attention, support or financial stability or indirect reward like feeling good around someone who's funny, smart and beautiful. Ah, that dopamine kicking in. Think about your best friend or your partner. What initially drew you to them? Was it how they made you laugh? Uh, their kindness, or maybe just how good they looked that day. That's the attraction in action. Psychologists say we are attracted to people who seem both able and willing to meet our relationship needs. That could mean offering emotional support, being a great conversationalist, or even just sharing a hobby that we love. Let's say you meet someone who's kind, always listens to you and makes you feel valued. You will likely feel a strong attraction to them than to someone who's distant and dismissive to you. It's not just about what they do, it's also how about they make you feel. Being around someone during happy moments or good times makes them even more appealing to you. So, for example, that co-worker who has always your back in stressful projects, chances are your brain starts associating them with comfort and positivity. Now, here is an interesting piece of the puzzle. Attraction starts with something as simple as proximity. So, research shows that the more often you see someone, the more likely you are to find them attractive. And this is called the mere exposure effect. Imagine you are at the gym, there is someone you see every week on the trade meal next to you. Even if you've never spoken to them, you might start feeling a little spark just because you see them often. And that familiarity can breed attraction even if you are not aware of it. Of course, we can't talk about attraction without mentioning the physical appearance. Whether we like it or not, humans are wired to respond to beauty. And studies show that we react more favorably to attractive people and attractive people often enjoy advantages in areas like jobs, relationships, and even the legal system when they get in trouble. But what makes someone beautiful? Surprisingly, certain universal features like symmetry, uh, symmetry in the face, in the body, for example, men like a waist-hip ratio of 0.7 for women, and women like the V-shape for men, and these features signal health and fertility, which ties into evolutionary psychology. Here is uh, where it gets even more fascinating. Our brains actually light up when we see beautiful faces. Using fMRI scans, uh, researchers found that areas of the brain associated with reward, like uh, those responding to food or drugs, are also activated when we see someone attractive. It's like our brain is saying, wow, this is beautiful, this is valuable. Finally, let's bust a myth. Attraction isn't just about physical appearance. People often uh, become more attractive when they have non-physical qualities that make them likable, like kindness, humor or intelligence. For example, 
Have you ever met someone who seemed um, average, uh, nothing special at first, but as you got to know them, you found them more and more attractive? That's because their personality enhanced your perception of their looks. And it works the other way around. People who are physically attractive often benefit from what the what is beautiful is good stereotype. We tend to assume they are also smart, kind and successful, whether that's true or not. Uh, and this bias even changes how we behave. So there is a study, uh, men uh, who believed that they were talking to an attractive woman were friendlier and more engaged. And here is the kicker. The woman sensing this energy actually became more confident and animated, which fulfilled the man's expectation. So what does that mean? tell us. It tells us that attraction is a mix of biology, psychology and social dynamics. It's not just about who looks good, it's also about who makes us feel good. Voila! If you found this video interesting, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and have a good day.